I gotta tell you, you know what we as truck drivers do, the sacrifice of being away from our families, I, I, I guess I, no, no, I know I can vouch for the majority of the drivers out here that the hardest part of their journey and their career in trucking is leaving the house saying bye to your loved ones. That's the hardest part. That is absolutely the hardest part. The driving part, the bumping the docks, the finding loads, waiting for loads, that's the easier part of this thing. It's leaving our families. That's the difficult part. But we understand the sacrifice uh, to provide. And that's why we do what we do. Simple as that. All right, y'all, let's roll. Let's get it done. It's trucking, baby. It's trucking. It's trucking, baby. So what are we doing this morning? We're heading to South Bend. South Bend, Indiana. Pick up a hazmat load. We're taking it down to Indianapolis. That is the plan. That is the assignment. That is our mission. That's what we're going to get done. So I got to be over here in uh, South Bend. 8 o'clock, and uh, so I'm left out of here with about, eh, about 30 minutes to spare, give or take. Man, 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 here in the Midwest, man, we was getting 80 degree temps, 80, 84, 79, it was beautiful, sunny, and all of a sudden, Sunday, we got temperatures dropped, and then Monday morning, we're talking snow. This is ridiculous. <laughs> this, is, this is ridiculous. But just, just to give y'all a little education on, on Chicago, the Midwest, particularly this area, uh, this is our, this is what we call our third winter. <laughs> we have a third winter every year. We're not out of the clear to June. That's when I get comfortable. That's when I know every day we're going to have at least 75, 80 degree temps. Not until June. That's it. June, baby. This is unbelievable. We're talking mixed snow, rain up in Wisconsin. Yesterday, we had a charter that was scheduled up in Wisconsin. It's a softball team. It got canceled because of the storm that came through. Um, the trip got canceled. It cost us money. That's what it is. That's the business. But um, we um, today we're looking at 13 inches of snow in Toma, Wisconsin. Five inches of snow in the Wisconsin Dell. They're they're only 
goodness gracious, 50 miles apart, maybe? Unreal, man. Unreal. I mean, this little storm just came through. I'm talking to a friend of mine out in Denver. They're sitting on 80 degrees today, from um, yesterday rather, and they had cold temps, so now we got their cold temps, and they got out in warm weather. This ain't fair. It's all right, though. Supposed to be a little mixture on my little journey between here and South Bend. South Bend is is exactly 52 miles, give or take. From uh, or I can't say exactly, just say give or take, right? It doesn't work. It's approximately 52 miles from um, where I park at, give or take. Here. So uh, we're gonna shoot on over, grab the uh, 80 toll road, and uh, shoot on over to South Bend. Bump that dock, get loaded. It's a hot one. Same day delivery. So we're gonna take that over, deliver it. Uh, I think I uh, remember it paid like eight dollars a mile. So we're gonna get that taken care of. And then we're going to bounce over to Richmond, Indiana, following that to pick up our load, our backhaul that we're gonna take back into Chicago. As you see, guys, I'm staying close to the house. But we got a uh, uh, again a few things to do on uh, the home front, so do a quick, quick out, out and back, quick out and back. That's right, quick, quick outbound and a quick backbound or return, <laughs> back home. All right, so y'all just ride with me. Let's go. Look, y'all got my headset on. <laughs> well, I'm here in South Bend, and um. Sometimes you don't get all the details as to what a load is. This is a hazmat load. Um, thinking I'm picking up at a shipper, which I am, but it is an outside contractor that is shipping some tanks down to Indianapolis. So I'm sitting here waiting for them to open the gate. And, you know, so I'm calling. Yada, yada. So finally, I saw some cars parked in the lot here. I figured, let me go over here and ask some questions. And the guy comes up, or I come to him and said, are you the guy here to pick up tanks? I said, are they going to Indianapolis? He said, yeah. Well, I guess I'm the guy. <laughs> so this is not your usual type of load pickup. I'm going to have to probably make a, um, a bill of lading for this pickup. And then, um, yeah, this is, yeah, this is, this is, what are the uniqueness of Landstar? We get some of those loads that you wouldn't normally get at a regular carrier. Keeps the monotony away from you. So that's getting here. They're waiting for a forklift of some sort. That's getting here and let's get loaded, man. So we can get down the road. I got a hot load to pick up once I get there. Let's do it. So here we are. Finally got some movement going on here. Let me show you what we're picking up. I'm trying to figure out a dolly situation because I don't have dollies, never have had dollies, never will have a dolly on my trailer. Here we are. These have to be loaded into my trailer. The issue is they're trying to see if they can use one of these docks to load them. If not, somebody got to get a dolly so they can get it on the, floor, on the truck and then push to the door, to the nose, to be loaded. <laughs> Ah, the adventures of trucking. Keep showing your toes, y'all. Keep showing your toes. <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> All righty. Yeah, you're good. All right, back on up. All right, easy. You got a little bit of the other one. Okay, good, good. There you go. Yeah, 
I can only imagine if that if they that heavy loaded, they be empty. Good God Almighty. Ladies and gentlemen, I am loaded. <laughs> As you can see, that was a process. I am loaded. Let's get this baby strapped. Put a few straps on this. Remember I bought these straps a few, about a year or so ago. I had a load that was going to Corpus Christi out of Indiana. And they told me I needed like 10 or 15 straps. And I bought them and I probably used two of them. <clears throat> but I'm glad I had them. And you know, it forced me to go buy them. And I was happy. You know, I got the, the straps and um, I have them in case I need them. Better to have them and not need them than need them and not have them, right? We are secure and we're ready to roll. Let's get some paperwork. Let's get down the road. We're behind the schedule now. We got to make it happen. It's trucking, baby. Let's do it. It's trucking. Truck. All right, let's get out of here. Get on down the road. We got behind schedule a little bit. Get down there by noon, noon and show for they can get me unloaded right away. We got to bounce over to uh, Richmond, Indiana which is about an hour and change east of Indianapolis and uh, get reloaded for a 7 o'clock, 7.30 a.m. delivery tomorrow morning. So that's how I'm stacking. That's how we're stacking. Let's make it so. It's trucking, baby. Let's do it. Family's all good. I got here. It is... Uh, I got here at 12.15, man. I am here in Indianapolis, getting empty. They was waiting for me. As soon as I backed in, he's already on the trailer. I backed in the door, set the brakes. He's already in the box. That's I, I, I love it. I love it when things like that happen, when it's flowing like that. They're waiting for you to get you unloaded, to get you down the road. That is the way it's supposed to go. Um, then after this, I'm going to head on over to uh, Richmond, Indiana. Uh, so things are rolling. It's rolling. Ha. Huh. Let's get it done. <laughs> How you doing, sir? Oh, I'm a dud. How about you? Not bad. Family, that worked good. That worked good. Let's go to part two. Let's pick up this load in Richmond. This load delivers tomorrow in uh, Lockport, Illinois. Tomorrow morning, about 7, 7.30, Lockport, Illinois. So I'm gonna see how this works. I might have to do a 7-3 split. Or I might have enough time to get up there, bam, bam, shut down, have enough hours to 
we'll see. I'll play by you. All in, all in a nutshell, I have the hours to get it delivered. This is about how I play with the clock. All right? That's Boogie. I am here in a dock. And um, hopefully we get begin to get loaded here soon. I had to drive around this, this, this facility about six times before I can actually find the place because it's it's called safety zone, but it's actually supply something, you know, so pairing, you know, companies and uh, nothing is really clear as to what is where. So I finally find a place and I'm in the door and I'm waiting to get loaded. So I got six hours left with my uh, 14 and um, five hours left to drive. So we'll see how this plays out. More likely get up the road a little bit, shut down and then finish it up in the morning. It's only three and a half hours, four hours tops, something like that. So see how long it takes to get loaded. Let's do it. Well, sometimes it don't always go as smooth as you would like it to be. I'm still getting loaded. <clears throat> it's been about two hours, two and a half hours, give or take. Put on a stand, they um, put the pallets in and um, they tipped one over and then knocked over the rest of them. It was like a domino effect, I was told. So they're trying to clean it up and repackage it and put it back on. So yeah. <laughs> right now I got four hours. Let's see here. Four hours left on my um my 14 hour clock and I'm a roughly three and I'm four hours four hours from uh, Laporte, Illinois. So if I get out of here the next hour, I'm going to drive, try to get a few hours, you know, underneath me. Then that'll be plenty of time for me to stop, take me a 10, and have time to get up and finish it up in the morning. Uh, get into the area, Chicagoland area, before traffic starts in the morning. So that should work out. That's the plan. We'll see if it... uh <laughs> If it ends up being that way. So, yeah, man, it's trucking. That's all I can say is trucking. See what happens. I'm loaded. <laughs> <laughs> I know in the video you can't tell how long it's been. I'll tell you how long it's been. I got here at 2 o'clock, basically. 1.55. It is... 6 o'clock, 5.52 to be exact, and I am loaded. So, yeah, there it is. You win some, you lose some, but it's all good. This load delivers tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. in, where am I going? Lockport, Illinois. So, I will um, shut down somewhere on 65, get my clock reset, and be there ready to get empty in the morning. So, yep, there it is. Let's a go. Let's a go. Good morning. I am here in Lockport, Illinois. Hexel got here last night about nine o'clock. And I tell you, this place is a madhouse. This place is a madhouse 24 hours a day. It, it, it's gotta be. I'm at a prologist in Lockport, brand new place. This doesn't even show up on Google Maps. Yeah, man, there's a hundred trucks out here. But I do have an appointment. But we'll see how this um, appointment holds, man. Um, it's a lot of reefer units here. I mean, it's definitely a lot of grocery. I got, I guess you could call it safety equipment for Dunkin' Donuts on board. Um, but I'm going to walk here to the, um, what do you call, uh, shipping and receiving and see what we can get done. You know, I, I thought about trying to see if I can get it load early but you know as madhouse as this place was when I got here last night I said I might even waste my time I could have used the rest shut back fired up club man warmed up my dinner and went to bed so I'm here and now uh, we're gonna see what happens <laughs> wish me luck well we're halfway there getting a door is half the battle <laughs> they told me to put it in door 12 I gotta cut the seal and then uh, slide the tandems back, put it in the door. So let's see what happens. 
It's uh, about 627 right now. Let's see how long this takes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, 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 let's do it. in the door and uh, let the waiting games begin. But I am excited that uh, they did put me in the door immediately. Uh, it was not a hard unload, just pallets. I don't know how many pallets it is. It's given 17,000 pounds. Should be, once they get started, it shouldn't take long unless they gotta count it. Then that's a whole nother problem. But um, we should be doing pretty good. Um, as you can see, I got my headset on, man. I'm, I'm, um, I'm falling in love with it. Yeah, uh, one of my one of my uh, family members he, he said this. He said he, I love the story. It's probably one of the funniest stories I've ever heard in my life. Said he went into an Arby's uh, to get some food. He had his headset on, and the employees there thought he was the new employee there at Arby's working the drive-through. <laughs> Man, that's funny. That is funny. Wow. <laughs> I told him, man, you made me laugh, brother. Wow. So yeah, yeah, it's it, it's it, but it's growing on me, man. I haven't had to charge this thing since I since I started using it again. Weeks, and I probably haven't charged this thing since September. Blue Tiger, you got a good product. Just gotta say it. But uh, let's get let's get him let's get empty. All right, I'll follow up with you in a moment. Well, family, I'm leaving the facility now here in Lockport. It wasn't bad. Got in the door about 6.30, 6.40. Turned in the neighborhood, and I'm, um, I was empty by 7.45. Took a little bit of the paperwork. It's 8 o'clock, 8.06, and I'm on the way. Slip my tandems, and I'm on my way. Scoop, hey, good day. Good day of running. Uh, grossed. Um, over that two, you know, a little over 24 hour period. Yeah, gross of about, um, ah, goodness gracious, about $2,300 gross. Give or take, run that neighborhood, my map's right. About $2,300 gross. Um, on a normal situation, I would go grab me another load right now and capitalize on the weekend, you know, make it happen. But, um, I gotta get home because, um, I got a one-year home inspection uh, for the house we had built last year. So, we're going to take care of that and uh, a couple bus things, and then I'll be right back on the road, all right? It's nice riding with you guys for this uh, little vlog, this trip vlog. I'll see you all in the next one. We'll do a uh, load board. Got a couple requests on that load board search. So, we'll get that taken care of and on to the schedule program. See you guys soon. You know I can't end the video without saying, keep doing what you're doing so you can see what it does.